Now in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've been wanting for a while now to test out building various types of bushcraft shelters. And since we're having a lovely dry spell in the weather, today is a perfect day to get out and start with a basic A-frame shelter. So I'm gonna take a little break from my work prep. Actually, <laughs> can anybody guess? What do I do for a living? <laughs> What's my job in the real world? Take a guess. Put it in the comments, it'll be hilarious to see all these different answers. I'll put the actual answer in the description of this video, but don't cheat, don't look first. Yeah, just have a guess, what do you think I do for a job? Anyway, enough chit chat, let's get down to the forest and build this shelter. We're gonna try and find some big sticks to build our bushcraft shelter. Yes! <laughs> so we're gonna go on a stick finding mission. Emma's got the muscles, show us she's guns. Yeah. She have the guns. <laughs> okay, we'll be we're back. This. We were actually quite lucky. We found a tree with a curved branch that would be perfect for the initial A-frame structure. We then went about finding some big branches to form the outer shell. My hair is covered in leaves. I've got leaves in my top, leaves in my trousers. There's just leaves everywhere. That was me being ever so slightly over dramatic there. Moving on to the next step, we set off to find some smaller, flexible branches we could weave in between for added security and cover. And after a while, Barbara the bushcraft shelter was beginning to take shape. Emma got a little bit overexcited when we found all the snowdrops. It means winter is on its way out and spring is almost here. What are you doing, Em? She wants that branch that's detached. She's trying to knock it down out the tree. After a few minutes of filming and watching her struggle, I gave her a hand and between us, we finally managed to dislodge the dead branch. And we started covering the shelter with the leaves. Now, if there's enough about, moss is perfect for covering this form of shelter, although we didn't have time today to go collect and load. So leaves will have to do. Still look like a bloody good job to me. And there you have it, Barbara the basic bushcraft shelter. Not bad at all for a first attempt. Now if you've got another type of shelter you would like to see us attempt to build, let us know in the comments, drop us a comment. And did anyone guess my job correctly? I can't wait to read what you thought it might have been in the comments. <laughs> Ahoy there. This forest and the surrounding areas were so pretty, we ended up doing a six mile loop afterwards, just to take in the sights. Well, thank you so much for watching once again. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to keep up with our next adventures. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.